In the normal course of things, any campaign on the night of the election and the days after will do a couple of different things. One is that they'll analyze precinct results to look for abnormalities in the results, and they'll send people to those precincts to ask more questions. Secondly, uh, all campaigns will have poll watchers and poll wor workers and observers in the polling place. And so campaigns will talk uh, to those people if they saw any irregularities that could cause problems in the election. Now, the Trump campaign talked pre-election about having 50,000 poll workers. So presumably, they did have eyes on the ground in all these places. And so in the normal course of things, a campaign will analyze the reports that come in. Trump campaign had a couple of basic problems, however. Number one, the 2020 election was not close. In 2000, that was 537 and close. In this election, the most narrow margin was 10,000 and something in, in Arizona. And you just don't make up that, those sorts of numbers in recounts. And when the claims of fraud and irregularities uh, were made, you've heard very compelling testimony from Mr. Stepien, from Matt Morgan, from Alex Cannon about those claims and how uh, they didn't believe them. And so that put the Trump campaign on sort of a process of bringing cases without the actual evidence that you have to have in which the process is designed to bring out. So are you aware of any instance in which a court found the Trump campaign's fraud claims to be credible? No, there was, there was never that instance uh, in all the cases that were brought. And I've looked at the more than 60 that include more than 180 counts. And no, the simple fact is that the Trump campaign did not make its case.